Vanderbilt at Georgia. And this one should be a lot of fun uh, for Georgia fans, I would imagine, <laughs> when you really think about it. Uh, going to pull it up on the screen while I read off the trends here. And Georgia is a 38-point favorite at home, total of 58.5 over at BetUS. 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time on SEC Network. Vandy is 0-4 against the spread in their last four against Georgia, even though those numbers have been gigantic every time. Vandy, however, 5-1 and one against the spread in their last six on the road. And Georgia, 2-5 and five against the spread in their last seven home games. So the numbers are starting to get a little bit too high for Georgia to be able to cover. And Vandy has started to outperform those really big numbers, even though they did uh, not cover last week against Ole Miss. Now, let's break this thing down. Georgia, I've, My numbers have Georgia by almost 35. Now, I know that you realize that that is not 38. So that is certainly, uh, certainly not quite to the to the right number. Vanderbilt's defense is uh, not good as far as throwing the football. So I would imagine that those Georgia tight ends have a pretty big day. There's not a lot to break down here, it, to be completely honest. Uh, Vandy's offense is okay, but they are not going to be able to compete with Georgia's defense. What you're really doing here is playing psychologist. Does Georgia care at all about this matchup? And I don't know the answer to that, right? Um Every game for Vanderbilt is basically the same. Like you know that you don't have the talent to compete, so you're just trying to show up and and maybe like if you're going to make a game your Super Bowl, I don't imagine it would be this one if you're Vanderbilt, right? Because the chances of you winning this, even if you do play your best game and their worst game, is slim to none. So why would you waste it on this? Uh, but when you look at the fact that Georgia has an off week next week, they might want to get right or or. They might not care at all. They might just show up and who cares? We're going to go to the bye week next week. We'll figure out whatever's been you know, troubling us. It's not like Georgia played really well against, um, against Auburn last week. They still got the cover. But at least in that one, you had a little more that you cared about, right? Uh, Georgia... I mean, they just shellacked Vanderbilt last year. I mean, they were up 35 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. In a game like this, I would recommend not betting it, but if you want to bet it, I, the only play that you can make is Georgia, really. Like, I, I know that A.J. Swan has been doing great things. Uh, Vanderbilt's offense is number 45 PPA per pass, but you do that up against Georgia's defense, and it's not going to go well. Georgia's defense, number 11 in PPA per pass, number 14 in passing success rate allowed, uh, other than that, I don't, I don't see any kind of advantage that Vanderbilt can take advantage of. I just, I see nothing here. So the only thing that you can really do is bet Georgia and just hope that they feel like coming out to play. Um, and that's that's the issue with this, right? Is you're playing psychologist to you know a bunch of eighteen to twenty one year olds, like it, who knows, or eighteen to twenty two, whatever it is. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll take Georgia minus the thirty eight. But I don't feel great about it because, I mean, this, this team has not exactly played well as of late. But, yeah, give me Georgia to cover 38 here. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.